Hello everybody. Today I will be making my own personal subwoofer, two 12 inch subwoofer box. Uh, I have this, so this used to be a four by eight piece of plywood from Home Depot. And the guys at Home Depot cut it for us, um, cut it 13 and a half inches wide and they just cut the rest down. And I will be doing it to the dimensions of right here. This is my design. So I'll have four 28 by 13 and a half pieces for the top, bottom, front, and rear. I'll have one 12, one 12 inch by 13 and a half for the left side, right side, uh, 9.57 by 13 and a half. And then the port will be 12.84 by 13 and a half. I'll leave, I recorded the dude doing it. So here's a little video on the cutting of the wood. It was a really cool process. It only took it only cost about 50 cents per slice in their seven uh, pieces of wood so it was about three dollars fifty cents and yeah this sub box will be a 28 28 by 15 by 13 so the 28 is the is the length by 15 which is the height and then the depth is actually 13.5 so let me just cut all these cut this wood to the specs that I need and I will come back to y'all when I have that done all right, so we have cut the wood for the two 12 inch subwoofer box right here. And I realized that I have a lot more wood left over. So these planks and all of this are spare pieces of wood. So I was like, why not just make another sub box, but this time a single. So that is what I'll be doing. And these are the specs for that. We have finished cutting the single subwoofer box. As you can see, there's no wood left over other than the most scraps over there. And now we will start gluing. First, I'm gonna label my um, uh, two, subwoofer, uh, two subwoofer box one instead of the single one, the dual one, sorry. And yeah, let me just do that real quick and I'll get back to you. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm doing the circles for the subwoofer, they're each 12 inch, so let's get it done. And we're using this contraption at six inches in radius that will make the sub 12 inches in diameter. Basic math, and yeah. So it is a new day. I cut the holes out of the subwoofer in the uh, circle right there. And right now I'm gluing it together. So I'm using some Gorilla Glue, some Gorilla Glue for wood, wood Gorilla Glue. And yeah, I'm gl uh, gluing it together with, along with taping it in place until the glue dries. And then I'm going to nail it in because you do not want to screw it in because on plywood, because look, there's, it's like a layered and it'll split the wood if you screw it in. So that's why I'm going to use nails only. And yeah, let me get this done real quick and I'll show you the final product of um, the box. Uh, putting it together. I will put be putting wallpaper on it It is um, smaller, but it leaves me a lot of space in my trunk, and um, it's better ported, because that one, the ports came off, and now I have a real port.
the wallpaper. I had to order more because I ran out. So now, just gonna spray paint this black. about to run out. I think I'm out, guys, which is fine. All right, so this will be the front. Let's see where the front is, actually. Okay, so this will be the front, so it won't be noticeable from the back. And this is all spray painted. It's empty. Yeah. All right, this is the single box. It is tuned to 45 hertz. And it is pumping right now. All right, this is the final product of the dual sub box. It looks spectacular. I freshened it up a little bit with the wallpaper and some Gorilla Tape. And now we're gonna put the um, subs in and put in the car and give you a demo. This is a demo of the dual 12 inch sub box. So that was a demo of what the what the box and the subs can do. Now it's a very beautiful box. I, I actually ordered more wallpaper and I got in yesterday and I installed it. Now if you want to build a box just like this, I'll leave uh, the design in the description. And to build a subwoofer box, you'll need five things. First, you'll need a design. I'll leave the um, design I used in the description. And I'll you also, if you want to make your own design, I'll leave the uh, website I used. The second thing you're gonna need is gonna be a jigsaw because you gotta cut the wood and you gotta cut the circles out. Third thing you're gonna need, obviously you need wood. This type I used plywood and plywood worked very, very well for what I was doing. Um, fourth thing you're gonna need is gonna be nails and or screws. Since I'm using plywood, I did do nails because it is layered and I did not want to split the wood with screws. But if you're using any other wood, I would recommend screws. It, it, it will hold very well. All right, and the last thing you'll need is wood glue. Now wood glue keeps it, keeps it in place as it dries, then you can nail it in or screw it in however you want. And it also prevents air from leaking. I used Gorilla wood glue and it worked very well. So I would recommend that type of wood glue but yes these are the subs this is the box it it turned out very very well i think i think i did a pretty good job it took me about three days to finish and yeah thank you guys for watching